to my channel keto with sammy for today's video i'm going to show you an easy simple recipe on how to make a keto breakfast sandwich i posted on my facebook that i bought a chaffle maker so i'm going to show y'all how to make this simple keto chaffle breakfast recipe so let's get straight to the video all right guys so for today's ingredients i like to put some avocado on my breakfast sandwich so here i have half an avocado you're going to want two eggs, one egg to cook into your sandwich, and the other egg we're going to be mixing to make our ch chafel. You're going to want half a cup of shredded cheese of your choice. I like to use the Mexican blend cheese. You could add any meat to your sandwich. I'm going to be using some Canadian bacon. There's only one net carb per serving, and four slices are a serving, so really good macros, but you could use regular bacon. You're going to want some bagel not included seasoning. This is just what I like to use to give my chafel some flavor. And then of course you're going to want your Dash Mini Waffle Maker. This was only $9. I will link it in the description below for y'all to check out. Okay, so I plugged in my Dash Mini Waffle Maker. As you can see, it's very small. It's the size of my hand. I love this thing. It makes really good crispy waffles for easy breakfast sandwiches. They're the perfect size. So now what you want to do is take half a cup of your shredded cheese and you're going to add in one egg. And then to give it flavor, I'm going to be using the bagel not included seasoning. You could use any seasoning that you prefer. I'm just going to put about half a teaspoon. And then all you do is give this a good mix until the egg is well incorporated. And this is going to be our waffle. Okay, once your egg is well incorporated, it should look something like this. And you're just going to wait for your, your waffle iron to heat up, and then we're going to place it on there. Okay, once your waffle iron is heated through, you're going to open it up. And you're going to put half the mixture. So this is going to make two waffles. If you need more, just double your ingredients. And then you're just going to spread it out. And then all you're going to do is close it and let it brown and get crispy and you're going to start seeing it rise. Okay, while our waffle is cooking, we're going to start cooking our bacon. So I'm going to put a serving of Canadian bacon, which is four slices. Now remember, you could use any breakfast meat that you want that's keto approved. You can use regular bacon sausage. You can even make some chorizo and egg. So get creative. This is just how I've been making mine and this is what I've been eating for the week. So I'm just going to let these cook through. Okay, once our waffle is nice and crispy, you could check it if you want it crispy or go ahead and keep cooking it. But you're going to let it rest to the side so it could get a little hard and it's not so soft. So just put it on a plate, but look at that. All the edges are nice and crispy. With just three ingredients, you can make an awesome keto bread. Now we're going to start cooking up the other half of our waffle mixture. So just do the same thing, pour it on there and spread it out. Our Canadian bacon has been cooking, so I'm just going to flip it. It don't take long to cook. It takes about a minute. You just want to heat it through. Once your Canadian bacon is done cooking, we're just going to set it on the plate to the side. And then we're going to start cooking our egg. So if you like your eggs scrambled, go ahead and scramble them. I like to just add a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to place my egg whole first and then once it cooks at the bottom I scramble it just a bit okay once it's a little bit white at the bottom I like to break my yolk because I don't want a runny sandwich so this is just my preference that's what I like to do and then I let it keep cooking I'm gonna season it with some salt and some pepper and just let your egg cook through how you like it okay so our next waffle is done cooking it's nice and crispy, and we're just going to set this aside, let it rest, and then we're going to assemble our sandwich. Okay, now after our egg, we're going to go and assemble our sandwich together. Okay, so I took my avocado and I smashed it down and just put a little bit of salt. This is a great fat to get in your fats for the day for keto. I love avocado, especially with breakfast. So I'm just going to smear this at the bottom. And then I'm going to add two slices of my bacon, my over easy egg, a little bit more cheese if you'd like, put some more avocado on the other one, 
add two more slices of bacon and you have yourself a keto chafel breakfast sandwich. Question of the day, what are you going to put in your breakfast sandwich? All right guys, so that concludes today's video of our keto chaffle breakfast sandwich. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. And if you do, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to share with all your family and friends and hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in my next video.